Hey, what's up guys? In today's lesson, we're gonna be talking about how we can connect the push block to the overhead front strike. I really like this combination. Sometimes when I'm watching students train, even myself when I first started, I found that my push block would be, be, be delayed, then I'd bring the bow up, and then maybe move in a circular motion, or it wouldn't chamber properly, something along that line. I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to have a nice clean chamber and connect that push block to the overhead front strike so it's a nice clean technique. When I do this one, I wanna get into a nice forward stance. If you'll notice, my back leg is straight, my front knee is bent over my ankle. I'm gonna chamber the bow or pivot the bow. I wanna do that really quickly. Now if you'll notice, when I'm going into my push motion, I chamber it, the chamber's across the axis of my body. It's not perfectly in line with the bow, it's across. It gives me like another level of defense and ergonomically it makes a lot more sense to do it that way. So I'm gonna do my push, I'm gonna quickly pivot or chamber the bow and then as I'm moving down for my strike, I still wanna make sure that I'm sliding that backhand down and then I'm snapping that front wrist. So I'm push blocking, chamber, overhead front strike. I wanna have a really nice fast transition when I do that one, when I move into that overhead front strike from the push block. So again, I'm gonna be pushing and chambering very quickly, and then I'm gonna snap down with a bow, having that nice overhead front strike technique. So let's put it all together. Good, and then if we finish with a nice strong Kia, it makes it even more impressive. Hope you guys enjoyed the push block connected to the overhead front strike for a combination. Keep training hard guys, have a great day.